We always knew that something was wrong. He wasn't crawling on time. He wasn't walking on time. When I was younger, I did like going to the park. I was able to climb up the playground. And I can't do it anymore since my legs are very weak. Look at us, we match. We're like great today. You're always great. You're gray or black. That's an easy one. You want to brush your teeth out? Yeah. Okay. Duchenne was basically a death sentence. I can minimize everything that I can to preserve as much muscle as we possibly can, but there's there's no way to stop this. This is, he's going to lose. This is Michelle Gonzalez. I'm trying to have my son be placed on Exandis, and we're having difficulty. Uh-huh. So I was told to call PPMD to see if there was anything. To say it may not work is not good enough. Let me take your name and number. Okay. I have to try for Nicholas. He deserves that shot. He deserves the chance. Nicholas is now only on Medicaid, and in Illinois, Medicaid is going to review it in mid-June. So we're just in this holding pattern. Every day, Nicholas loses muscles. Every day since he was born, he's been losing his muscle mass. And he's forming scar tissue. And not just on his calf muscles, or we're we're talking about his heart. So every day is imperative to slow down the progression. His window is closing and these review processes, it's just throwing time away. Next year, be in high school. The kids at school, like they're going through different stages, like being a teenager. It's hard to make friends. I wish that I could ride a bike and run. I wish I could regain all those activities I could do. Give me your best blue steel. I'm doing what? I'm torturing you. (laughs) I'm gonna kiss you. I'm gonna kiss you. (laughs) As a mom. The one thing that you want to do is to make sure that your children, if they have a cut or a scrape, that they're okay. If they fall, if they break a bone, that you can do this, you can help them. And when you're given the sentence of Duchenne, you feel helpless. I'm helpless.